Good morning, students. So, uh, in our previous classes, we have discussed about uh, chapter one. That chapter one is food for good health. Food for good health. So, in this chapter, a little bit content we have discussed that what are the food required for good health. We eat. what type of food items that help us in maintaining our health so uh, in our previous classes you have already discussed or you have already read that all the living organism need food to survive we all need even the microscopic organisms also need food to survive the plants that are also living things they also need food to survive so if we talk about the what are the why there is a need of food why all the living things need food so first is to get energy to get energy because whatever the daily activities do in our life like playing studying dancing walking to carry out all these activities we need energy we all need energy similarly the process that takes place in our body like digestion respiration circulation for that process also we need energy and we all get energy from the food that we eat we get energy from the food that we eat so first is it is a source of energy next is to grow we need food to grow it help us in our body growth the food that we eat it helps us in growth of our body and sec last is to make to make our body strong and healthy the food that we eat it helps us in making our body strong as well as healthy these all functions which are carried out by food these all functions or these are the process in which we need food so uh, the food helps us in getting energy for growth and to make our body strong and healthy but how is it possible how the food help us to get energy how it help us to grow and how the food help us to make our body strong and healthy can any one of you tell me it is possible because of the components present in the food the components present in the food what are the components of food these are the chemical substances that present in the food like nutrients we call them nutrients a word is there for the components we call them nutrients the nutrients is similar to the components so if we talk about the component present in the food we know that the food contain carbohydrates fats carbohydrates fats vitamins vitamins and minerals proteins so these are the components of food carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals and proteins so these components of the food helps us in getting energy help us to grow and help us to make our body strong as well as healthy so these components of the food again categorized into categories they are again divided into categories on the basis of the function they perform so if we talk about the first two the carbohydrates and the fats they are known as energy giving food carbohydrates and fats known as energy giving food proteins proteins helps us in body growth the proteins 
help in body building and they also help in repairing the worn out tissues if you got hurt at that time the tissues which get damaged they are repaired with the help of proteins the next component of the food is vitamins and the minerals so student if we talk about the vitamins and the minerals they are known as protective food vitamins and the minerals they are known as protective food so if we talk about the vitamins there are different types of vitamins in our food like vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k and they all have different functions they play different roles in our body minerals like iron calcium potassium phosphorus so these are the different minerals which iodine they all are required in our body vitamins and minerals they are required in traces they are required our body in little amount but they are essential if they are not present in our food so we will fall ill very frequently we fall ill if the vitamins and minerals are not present in our food next is balanced diet balanced diet as its name is suggesting us the diet which is balanced so balanced diet means the diet that contains all the nutrients like carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals proteins in due proportion along with it roughage and water is also necessary it also contains sufficient amount of water and dietary fibers also as the roughage the dietary fibers and the water are not nutrients but they play a very important role as the roughage and the dietary fibers help in digestion of the food and help in removing the waste from our food similarly water also plays a very important role it helps us in maintaining the temperature of our body it helps us in carrying out the different metabolic activities of our body so water is also very important as three fourth part of our body is also made up of water okay after this junk food and obesity junk food and obesity how the junk food is related to the obesity so first thing is what are junk food can you tell me the name of some junk food that you like to eat okay so pizza burger noodles pastries cold drinks they all are the junk food because they do not contains the nutrients in sufficient quantity and they contains fat and sugars and if we take them in large quantity because they contain fats the extra fat get deposited in our body and leads to obesity leads to overweight means the weight of the body increases and that will leads to obesity and what will happen if our body weight increases then that will leads to obesity and what is the effect of this obesity we are not able to carry out our different activities properly and if the growing children become overweight due to lots of junk food so it affects their growth as well as development the obesity affect growth and development of the young children of growing children like you so say no to junk food we should eat a balanced diet because what is our motive we should eat food for good health we should eat the food items that helps us in maintaining our health that help us to give energy 
that help us to grow and that also help us to make our body strong as well as healthy so we should eat a healthy food we should eat a balanced diet okay so and say no to junk food because it contains large content of fat as well as sugar that will leads to obesity because it affects our growth and development too so student today we have discussed about the food why there is a need of food for all the living organism what are the components of food they are also known as nutrients and nutrients are the chemical substances present in the food after that we have discussed about balanced diet what is balanced diet a diet or a meal that contains all the nutrients carbohydrates fat proteins vitamins and minerals along with it it contains dietary fiber that is roughage as well as water so balanced diet and junk food and obesity junk food is your favorite food and it contains large content of fats as well as sugar that will leads to overweight and overweight that caused due to extra fat deposition in our body that will leads to obesity and lastly the obesity affect the growth and development of the growing children so student this is all about your today's class thank you and have a nice day